Stupid. <laughs> and from the California Alliance for Retired Americans, the former president of the state AFL-CIO, the California Labor Federation, Tom Rankin. Tara represents retired union members and retirees all over the state. And those are the folks who are also hurt, as long with everyone else who's talked to you, uh, the home care situation, a lot of the people who are receiving that home care are elderly people and they're going to get hurt when the wages get cut of the people who are taking care of them. The people who are at the, at the lowest end of the economic ladder, who are on both Medicare and Medi-Cal, their right. health benefits are going to get cut. Right. This is a disastrous situation for a whole lot of vulnerable people. Now this is great what we're doing here today, but we got to look at this long term as well. We all know the structural problem. It takes two-thirds to pass a damn tax. It takes 50% to give a tax break. Yeah. And that's what they did to us earlier this year. We can't let them do that anymore. Yeah. We've got to stop the Democrats from being complicit in this. Yeah. 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 We're in a crisis, an economic crisis. We're also in a political crisis because we have no leadership. The people are ahead of the politicians, yep. and we have to keep their hold their feet to the fire and make sure they keep putting these tax bills on the governor's desk, whether he likes it or not, and let the people of the state know that at least someone is fighting for them, and then in the long run, we're going to get some initiatives on the ballot and change those tax rules and the budget rules so we can have a majority, we can have a democratic state and pass things with a majority vote. Yeah. Yeah. with the most needing students, those yep. who do not yep. fit into the regular school routine, those who have been expelled, those who are under arrest. Um, we've seen cuts to our foster youth services and our staff are here today. Yeah. We've also uh, closed the site at community school in North Oakland. We've uh, lost our whole entire CTAP division. We've cut our um, pregnant minors program, our um, CalSAFE program in half. And again, these are the most needing uh, students. We meet the students' needs from infancy through community college level. So what we need to do is keep reminding the legislators we voted them in so that they can support education. And what I told 
the uh, conference committee on budget education people in Sacramento is you know what if you don't support our students now they're going to wind up with me in Alameda County at twice or triple the cost to maintain their their stay there I work in a semi brand new facility 77 million dollars they are are breaking ground on another juvenile facility it's going to cost 30 35 million sorry 35 million dollars just to, to open up the first shovel of dirt if they build it they will come we need to remind everybody to support student education today arnold the fool save the school arnold the fool save the school arnold the fool